were able to learn a lot about Pueblos this week and last week. You probably want your picture that we yet yeah, you made that you drew in class last week to look at as a reference. Um, but as you can see, we have a little a display here um, with a diorama that we've made that's three dimensional. So today we're going to make a 3D model. Um, I would like you to try to make at least two. If you really get into it, you can do as many as you want, make a whole village. Um, but at least two I'd like to see that you've done and add some ladders and some details. So let's go ahead and get started. For this assignment, you will need, um, let's use your brown paper. Now, I was running out of brown paper, so I used pink paper for the demo, but I want you to use the brown paper for your assignment. Um, you'll need the brown paper, you'll need scissors, glue stick, a pencil, and you can either use the crayons or the markers for the details, but either of those will work. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So put this stuff aside. Let's use this brown sheet of paper first. We're going to separate it into parts. I think this is the easiest way to get this first part done. So fold it in half. Okay, and then let's fold it again. So I'm just folding it again. Um, so we have four rectangles when I open it up. This way I'm going to have some different shapes that I can use to create the Pueblos from. I'm going to start by taking this bottom rectangle and just cutting that out. So when you fold the paper, you want to try to make it as exact as you can, match up the corners, and just try to do that because it will help you with the Pueblo later. Now, this is a good shape to start with, but what I've noticed is when I start with a shape like this, I get a really long Pueblo. And uh, in the pictures, I noticed they weren't really long like that. They were closer to a square. So what I've done is I'm going to take this and I'm just going to take and trim off maybe just an inch. I think that will be fine. We'll just put this in our pile of scrap paper for now because that will be good to use later. Um, okay, so to make this into something like this, um, the first thing I need to do is remove the corners. So I'm going to just take one corner here and I'm going to go about an inch in on both sides. And then what's nice is once I have this cut out, I actually can reuse this. So we're going to just trace that shape again and then it will kind of make it more uniform. And I'll do the last one in black so you can see that. I forget that you can't see when, when I do pencil. Okay. You can see how that corner's right there. Now we're going to go ahead and cut out these and do not throw them away. They're actually going to come in handy later. Okay, so once I've got this shape, before I go folding, I'm actually going to put the de details on it. So um, with my black marker this time, I think I'll use a black marker and a brown marker. So the black marker will be for the front door and the windows. And I notice the door almost goes to the top of the Pueblo. Uh, and I think if you're confused about how this is going to work, work, you'll see in just a minute. I'm putting these little vigas across the top. Those are the, those uh, piece, long pieces of wood that stick out. Now, if you were really creative and I didn't have any, you could maybe stick toothpicks in there and make that work. But I didn't have any at this time. So let me put some on the other side because they go all the way through supporting the weight of that roof. Okay, so once I've got those details drawn in, once you see me put it all together, I think you'll start understanding how this works. So I fold this edge down. Okay, fold the back. And let's fold these sides in. And we'll fold the side in here. Okay, now I've got all four sides. So you can kind of see how it's coming together now. 
it's looking more like a Pueblo. And I like that it's more square than even this one. So that turned out good. Okay, so with these scrap pieces of paper, this is where they come in handy. This is gonna glue the inside of them together. Now, if you are lucky and have a roll of tape, you can just tape it together on the inside. I am not so lucky, so I will show you how to do this. We're gonna take, I'm gonna fold this scrap paper in half, and I'm going to put that on the interior here. And what I'm gonna do before I do that let me get actually a piece of scrap paper so I don't get glue on my table. I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on both sides. Nice thick layer. And then I'm going to put that in the corner, line it up, and I'm just gonna hold it for five seconds and make sure it sticks. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I can see that I've got a little bit overhanging on the bottom. I can just trim that off if I don't want that. Okay, so that's the first one. Now in the next one, I don't wanna have the trim off problem, so I'm just gonna make it a little bit shorter at first. And I'm gonna go ahead and bend it. first Pueblo. So the first one is done. Now the second one needs to be a lot smaller than the first because it's going to sit on top of it. So um, what I found was that since we folded our paper in fourths here, let's go ahead and cut off this other side. Okay, And if you're only going to do two Pueblos, go ahead and put this piece of brown um, back into your bag so we can use it for another project coming up. Um, but if not, you are okay to do um, another Pueblo out of it if you like to keep going. And I like the scrap paper, keeping this, any little pieces that we're not going to use, keep it in your bag because we have a project coming up that you can use all those scrap pieces on. Okay, I folded that paper in half and I'm going to go ahead and cut that. So that's going to make a smaller Pueblo. And again, remember, if I keep it this rectangular shape, it's gonna be a long Pueblo, and I want it to be more square. So again, I'm gonna cut off a little bit on the edge here. I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did in the last one. I'm gonna cut a little, it's not a, quite as large, a smaller square, and I'm going to repeat those steps again. So now we have our little one and you can stack them on top of each other. Um, but the final thing that you need is a way for them to get from the bottom to the top. So you see in the last little one we made, we made some little ladders. So with my scrap right here, I can just take my marker and I can right away make a couple of ladders. So I'm going to just take my marker, draw two parallel lines, put some horizontal lines on it, and do that twice. Okay. And we can cut those out. And you will have a Pueblo with some letters. Now, if you're fast and you're totally getting this and you love this and you want to do the extension, the extension is to take a white sheet of paper and draw a location for your Pueblo like we did right here. My son and I were having fun doing that. So you could put a location, you can get some toys out and kind of make it almost like a diorama um, for your thing. You can glue the top to the bottom. But pretty much you are done. If you got two Pueblos done, you got some ladders on there, you're good. If you want to add stuff to it now and you have plenty of time, go ahead and do that. But I want to see what you've made. Please show me your Pueblos. 
come back to uh, the Google Meet and let me know what let me know what you've done, how it went. I'll see you soon.